Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Saturday the 4th of December. We begin as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we know that we have no need to be thirsty, for we have tasted the living water you offer, and we have experienced firsthand its power to satisfy. And yet sometimes we turn our back on the life-giving spirit you offer. We seek fulfilment elsewhere, in money, in material possessions, work and friendships, forgetting that none of these however much pleasure they may bring, can meet our deepest needs. Help us to enjoy the blessing that you have given, the innumerable good things in life, but help us also to keep a proper sense of perspective, recognising that you are the one who gives meaning to all things. So may the water of life well up within us and overflow in joyful praise, in loving service, and in spontaneous witness to the glory of your name. Amen. 1 Samuel chapter 16 The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicate. Samuel did what the Lord said. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled when they met him. They asked, Do you come in peace? Samuel replied, Yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab, and made him pass in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. Jesse then made Shammah pass by, but Samuel said, Nor has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel, but Samuel said to him, The Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse answered. He's tending the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, Rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then went to Ramah.
Psalm 135 Your name, Lord, endures for ever. Your renown, Lord, through all generations. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, nor is there breath in their mouths. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, praise the Lord. House of Aaron, praise the Lord. House of Levi, praise the Lord. You who fear him, praise the Lord. Praise be to the Lord from Zion, to him who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Gracious God, you are above all. You are beneath all. You are beyond all. You are within all. You are God of past, present and future, of time and of space, of heaven and of earth, of all people, all creatures and all creation. Forgive us for sometimes losing sight of those awesome realities, settling instead for a fragmented picture of who you really are, shaped by our narrow horizons and our flawed and limited understanding. Stir our imagination, we pray, and help us to see a little more, a little more clearly each day, the wonder of your glory. Great and wonderful God, with awe and with amazement, we worship you, for you are greater than our minds can fathom, beyond our highest thoughts, sovereign over all. We worship you in your holiness, and yet we greet you as a friend, for you have shared our humanity, identifying yourself wholly with our world and demonstrating the awesome extent of your love. You have broken down the barriers that kept us apart. And so we know you with us day by day, constantly by our side. Great and wonderful God, give us a sense of your greatness and your grace, your power and your gentleness, your otherness and your nearness. Remind us each day that your eternal purpose spans all creation and yet includes our lives here and now. So may we give you the glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.